I'm ready. Uh, Beastie probably also ready. Saying go Necromas against Withara. Go, go, go. Let's jump right into the series. I am so excited. I hope you guys are as well. 3, 2, 1. Loading screen. Let go. This is going to be absolutely epic. Can't wait to see what these guys bring to the table. If there's any special tactics, any strategies, any build orders or whatever uh, that they developed, that they maybe uh, have been hiding from their opponents for the last, for the past couple of days. I don't know, but my God, I'm so hyped! I'm pumped for this series. Um, So far so good, nothing special over here. Beastie Cutie playing in the uh, light blue from the eastern base as the Necromos faction and Mixu playing in orange from the western base as the Vithara faction. It's Mixu. Mixu who built the nest. Uh, I like this placement of the nest. It's it's kind of intriguing. It's it's so far away, really. Like most of the time, you see those players just build the first building like right over here, so the worker has as little walking time as po as possible, so you can get the building up as fast as you possibly can. But he decided to build it a little bit further away over here, uh, which might be him already planning his garden placements later. He probably wants to place his gardens over here and over here and over here, right around the settlement or something. So if he built the nest over here, I'm missing a little fight already over here. A raptor and the Dilophosaurus and the Sage are getting into a little engagement uh, with a lot of Adepts and Char. Second Dilophosaurus coming in. Oh, this one taking a big hit by, uh, by Char. And the Sage also a little bit bruised already. Um, Let's see. All will serve me. Beastie Cutie chose the power hungry talent, so he's getting a little bit of passive power, ge uh, power generation and also one regeneration on his units, all his units that is. And Mixu went for the growth talent, which also gives his unit some regeneration and reduces the cost of the ability of the sage by 10% so he can convert those wild dinosaurs 10% cheaper and yeah well, it's just a little bit of posturing going on in the middle of the map none of these guys is really willing to commit to a fight um let's see looks like Mixu wants to go for that settlement over here the worker the wisps the little guy over here is already in place building that settlement. Hype! And while I'm doing the hype, I'm missing an engagement over here. Well, no, I didn't really miss it. Um, Mixu using the, the Sage as a tank, it looks like, to just freely be able to, to shoot with those Dilophosaurus. Uh, nice micro by Beastie Cutie over here, pulling back the herd adapt to make sure it doesn't die too fast. And now oh, man, uh, Beastie Cutie is sneaking a lot of workers down over here to build that settlement. Uh, hopefully Mixu is not gonna find it because that would be a pretty easy denial right now but he is probably suspecting the settlement to be placed over here and nope there is nothing not even the dinosaurs are cleared now he's moving down uh, taking a little route through the base of Beastie Cutie checking out if there's anything that he can snipe off for example a lonely blowgun over here but Beastie Cutie is on point he sees it immediately pulls him back and only takes a, a couple of hits which can be healed right up again by those uh, by that regeneration of his talent as you can see it's almost at full hp again the settlement for beast security is now up and running 
Work account is 19 to 25 for Mixu. So Mixu already having a substantial lead right now. Running into the settlement fire though now. So he sees for the first time now that there is actually a settlement of Beastie Cutie. He probably was a little bit confused thinking, okay, why is there not a settlement over here? Are you all kidding me? Are you going for, oh my god, another blowgun up Beastie Cutie. Once again though, seeing it in time. And, ooh, wow, that guy taking a lot of damage over here. Uh, one worker going down for Beastie Cutie and Mixu is just fighting in the settlement range and Beastie Cutie not focus firing with the settlement. All the shots were wasted on the Sage while he could have at least killed one or maybe even two of those Dilophosaurus over there. Beastie trying to sneak a shrine but it's already being recaptured by Mixu over here. 3rd settlement coming down for Beastie Cutie now so... He wants to catch up in economy, it feels like. And uh, looking at the units that he has at the moment, it should be fairly easy for him to defend this as long as he's not out of position. Okay, Mixu is not even going over there. Um, that's pretty lucky for Beastie Cutie actually, because that means that it's gonna take quite a quite a while until Mixu realizes that Beastie Cutie is actually sitting on three settlements instead of only two, which he's probably suspecting at the moment. The unit's coming in again, but there's Beastie Cutie to ready serve. to defend. Third settlement is also up for Mixu, and the worker count is 30 to 33. So Beastie Cutie is slowly but steadily catching up in the worker supply. Let me see what the production of Mixu is saying at the moment. Four nests for him, so he really wants to go ham on those nests units coming in from the top side now Let's see how fast the reaction time of Beastie Cutie is up he sees it almost immediately only losing one worker to the big attack by uh, Mixu there's the units of Beastie Cutie coming in to make the save and I feel like ancestors ability also being popped down by Beastie and it looks like he will be easily able to deflect this attack, but he needs to be really careful because Mixu is somewhat shooting ahead in supply at the moment, 69 to 80, um, with about an even work account. So the army supply of Mixu is ahead by about 10 right now. Oh my god, there's also the first fire elemental out for Beastie Cutie right now. So this army is now slowly getting much, much stronger in uh, sophistication. Two Witch Doctor Huts already down for Beastie Cutie. So he's gonna be able to pump out those fire elementals two at a time. And once he reaches a somewhat critical number of those fire elementals, with a nice little tank line in front of a couple of adepts and a couple of sub priests. Um, that's gonna be a really strong army for Beastie Cutie, I feel like. He's not in tier two though yet. But Mixu is, and the Caustic Dilophosaurus upgrade as well, and up oh, the Fearoraptor upgrade, I'm sorry, I just uh, thought they have the Fearoraptor skin, but they don't have him yet. The color is kind of confusing because uh, they get brownish once the upgrade finishes and he is orange, so it's a little bit confusing, but no, it's only Wall Raptors, but it is Caustic Dilophosaurus. Now getting the plus two ranged upgrade already, so Mixu already having a smithery for quite some time somewhere on the map there it is now he's reaching the second upgrade for his ranged units the dilophosaurus beastie cutie coming in with his army to defend he's going to the second tier as well at the moment and uh i can tell you the first thing that this guy is gonna research once the the, the upgrade the settlement upgrade finishes is gonna be the eruption upgrade for his fire elementals am i right or am i right Does he have any defense down here though? He has nothing down here except two fire elementals. And yep, there it is. The eruption upgrade is being researched. But he needs to be really careful because if uh, if Mixu just pounces over here, then he might be at risk of losing a big amount of economy. Another little skirmish going down at the top of the map. And the supplies are pretty even actually. 120 to 140. I mean, there is an advantage for... Oh, he needs to be really careful to not lose these expensive elementals. Pulling them back nicely. Also leaving a couple of units behind over here. So that's very nice by Beastie Cutie. He's really splitting up his units very, very nicely to be able to defend at both fronts. 
and um, getting the, the the crystal boost and the food boost at the same time right now but still I feel like he needs to be really really careful um, of how to split his army because he makes just one mistake okay very nice he's building a tower now over here because he realizes that it's gonna be very tricky to, to defend if um, Mixu just decides, okay, I'm not going to split my army up like you do. I'm just going to take all my army and just pounce at one location where there is only half of your army. And I'm going to completely destroy this half and then I'm going to move to the other side and destroy the second half. So you really need to be careful. And V-Security is doing an absolutely amazing job of sending singular zombies all over the map to just get that vision. There's one adept sitting over here, one zombie going over here, one zombie going over here. So he really knows. Uh, oh my god, triggering three explosions at the same time, but none of them really connect, so... Yikes! Mixuno going to tier 3. Let's see what his unit of choice is going to be. I feel like if... Uh, Beastie Cutie gathers up a, a nice high supply count, like maybe 170 or something, he can do probably, potentially, maybe... A nice timing push over on the other side of the map. Let's see what Mixu is doing actually. Nope, let's first see what is going on over here. Mm. Blowing up a couple of raptors, which is nice, but there's just so many units left for Mixu. But Beastie Cutie coming in with a nice flank from the bottom side of the map, triggering another explosion maybe. Yep, yeah, he's doing it right now and he's blowing up a lot of those. Dilophosaurus. So that was not too bad by Beastie Cutie. Uh, supply is now more even than it ever was. 128 to 140. Another explosion going down, not really connecting with anything. It's coming in from the bottom over here. Oh, my. That could have potentially be a nice eruption uh, of that one single lava elemental over there. But yeah, if he can reach a nice supply of 170, he can maybe really do a nice timing push, I feel like. But now the Dryads are coming out and that might be... That might be harsh to deal with for B Security. He's doing a very nice concave Ooh, over here, living. very nice split. But his supply is just not looking too hard. The worker count is actually in favor for him. So it's 78 workers for B Security compared to the... Well, now it's even. It's exactly even actually. 79 workers for both of these guys. Um, B Security now finally getting the first a smithery upgrade as well the plus one damage for his ranged units and he's coming in with a nice flank from the bottom but nope doesn't really hit anything Mixu is just on point with his micro and he also took the uh, preservation talent which gives plus one movement speed to his unit so it's a lot easier to dodge the supernova explosions of the lava the metals and now he's trying to push in over here explosion coming in from the top explosion coming in from the bottom and he's blowing up so many units that was very nice but is it gonna be enough i don't know probably not the supply is looking very 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 in favor of mixu at the moment 116 supply only for b security compared to the 150 one more very nice explosion just took away like 20 supply for mixu but the problem is he is replenishing with those really really strong units oh, the forest. giant empresses how many gardens is he sitting on at the moment? He is sitting on a total of 11 gardens. Let's see if they are all saturated fully. It looks like they are. So, really nice economy going on for Mixu, but he needs to be somewhat careful about his crystal income because he only has just a tiny little bit of that uh, huge purple crystal left. And where is he going to go after that? Probably over here, maybe? I don't know. But that is only a small one. So, he might. It might be time to establish that trade road. Um, and that is exactly what he's doing. The crystal hatchery down here at the bottom, starting to trade. Let's see how many he has. Um, two. Well, two is better than one, I would say. 100% better than one. So, it's not too bad. And now a huge attack is coming into the top of 
Beastie Cuties base, but there's not really too much to defend. Uh, no villagers over here, no settlement, no farms, nothing. Just a lonely tower being taken out. And now, oh my god, that is so nice. Beastie Cutie actually snuck to tier 3 as well, and I missed it. And now he starts making those ooh, witch doctors. Ooh, and he already upgraded them to the cursed witch doctor as well. And they are going to do so much damage to the army of uh, Mixu, which is consisting of nothing but squishy ranged units. Yes, the Dryads do ex uh, insane amounts of damage. But they are squishy, they are very squishy, yeah, so they are very, very vulnerable to splash damage. And if there's one unit in this game that can do splash damage, it is the Cursed Witch Doctor. Huge attack now coming in from the bottom side, while also harassing from the top side over here. Hope, let's hope for Beast Security that he's not going to find the villagers uh, on the crystal over here. Another big attack coming in from the bottom side, but he's running into the Cursed Witch Doctors and he's losing so many units. Uh, Beastie Cutie slowly climbing up in supply, um, 160 now, and it's it's 160 supply of really strong units, I feel like, Lava Elementals and um, Witch Doctors, he's already established his trade route as well, even though it is not the best, uh, the settlement is not really far away, let's see how many, how much crystal they get, uh, generate, it is, uh, Death Claws, Coming down, Water very nice, blow. allowing BCQ's units to fast. actually escape. And yeah, I mean, 50 crystal is not too good, but it's also not too bad. It could be worse, so at least he has a trade route going. How many does he have? Actually, four only so far, making a lot more though. So in just a couple of minutes, his crystal uh, income is going to be really good. Oh, he needs to be careful though. Uh, the whirlpool coming down from those narrates over here but still i feel like i feel like beastie cutie's army is probably a lot stronger at the moment um if mixu doesn't start to mix in look at this look at the damage output those witch doctors are doing oh my god also the supernova coming in from the from the lava elementals and yeah if mixu doesn't start mixing in something like mammoth or some or i don't know when he goes anytime soon then it's gonna look very dicey for him, I feel like. Uh, his supply is dropping also significantly, and yeah, he does not really have a, a good crystal income at the moment. Beastie Cutie now building another another settlement in the middle of the map to get a little bit of map control and have that settlement, the, 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 the sheer tanking ability of that settlement, the HP, the armor, and also the damage just grant him some uh, static defense in the middle of the map and just a, a kind of a, a safe spot that he can retreat to with his... Uh, splash damage ranged units. BC Cutie uh, needs to micro well against the Whirlpool now, and he's doing just that. Another. Nope, the Supernova actually not hitting anything. And I feel that was a very nice engagement for Big Sue now. BC Cutie dropping in supply to 120 again. I did not expect that. And I feel like it was mostly due to the fact that all these Witch Doctors were focus firing on the Sage. Um, I saw that and that is just really not what you want to do because the Sage doesn't care about splash damage. He's just standing strong in the front line with his 1210 HP and just tanking all the splash damage. So you really want to, you know, drag box a couple of Witch Doctors and, you know, focus fire into the back line or something. Mixu just making more and more of those uh, triads. First golem coming into the fight. Wow, that was a very strong combination of the whirlpool and the tornado. And oh my god, yeah, very nice focus fire by um, Mixu over here. Just taking, just drag boxing a couple of those triads. Who needs refreshments? And shift clicking on the witch doctors in the back, just killing them, knowing that they are so expensive in crystal cost. 140 crystal per witch doctor. So focus firing them down is just very, very nice. And now Beastie Cutie lost his safe spot in the middle of the map. He's forced back into his base. A couple of golems coming in, but they're not doing anything, I feel like. Because they are somewhat missing the support DPS. And GG is called. Yeah, okay. That was GG by BC Cutie. Uh, it was a crazy good game. And, uh... 
I don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words, guys. That was that was absolutely insane. I love this. I love the. Um, I love the compositions that these guys went for. They went for the narrates with the active ability and the dryads and the witch doctors and the golems. It's something that we have not seen uh, as much in this tournament yet. Um, very nice play by both of these guys. And that makes me very hopeful for the second game of the series, I feel like. So let's see. Total workers. Very even for most of the game. Uh, it was a very, very close game. Went to the late game. Um, army population was always pretty much ahead for Mixu. But Wee Security was, was keeping up, you know. Even when he, when he lost a couple of units over here, he just went right back up. Uh, keeping a, a pretty solid army supply for most of the game. And his army value, yeah, that is what I was talking about. His, his sophistication of his army was just so great. Those expensive and super powerful witch doctors, the golems. So yeah, his army value was even ahead of Mixu by uh, a good 2,000 at the end. Uh, very nice, but then I feel like he took a very bad fight. Uh, and that's when it went downhill, combined with the fact that... His crystal income was really not too great with this very short trade road that he established at the bottom side of his base. Maybe his plan was to re uh, to retask those those um, crystal burdens to the settlement in the middle of the map because that would have certainly been a much better distance. But it just never came to this situation because the forward base was killed so fast by an all-out push by Mixu. Jump right into the second game of the series. And here we go, second game of the series. Beastie Cutie seems to be a little bit salty, I feel like. He kind of has given up already, which I do not like. I was hoping for him to, you know, keep playing because it was a really nice nice game that he played just before. And it was so close and it could have gone either way. It really could have gone either way. Um, if only he would have waited a little bit longer uh, for a higher supply before taking that big deciding fight in the middle of the map. So I don't think why he seems to be so depressed right now. But he decided to not pick a map, even though it was his right to do so. And so Mixu was able to pick the ring. So we have Beastie Cutie playing again in the light blue from the eastern base as the Necromas building that burial grounds and Mixu playing in green from the western base as the Vithara faction. <laughs> Be 
Beastie Cutie building a couple of adapts from the burial grounds and I like his decision to go for the dinosaurs at the bottom shrine first. I really really like that because normally players uh, if they spawn on the eastern side of the map serve. opt to go for the top shrine first because that means that on the way there they can also snipe those two dinosaurs for a quick food income and this is exactly why Mixu sent the sage over here he wanted to distract uh, the creeping and snipe a couple of units but there's nothing there so I really really like what BCQ was doing over there just going for the bottom side of the map and kind of mind gaming tricking Mixu so he could freely creep the, the dinosaurs over here get the food also get the shrine so that was really really nice uh, by Beastie. Now though, the Sage is coming in over here with a couple of Dilophosaurus and they are gonna see if they can make something happen over here. Can they though? Because that is quite a lot of adept. Beastie Cutie needs to be very careful and Mixu actually converting that Triceratops over there. Wow, very nice. He spent quite a lot of power on that. He spent 80, about 80 power on that. But I think it's worth it because now he owns a big, big Triceratops which can heal over time so in uh, you know a couple of minutes he's gonna have a full HP Triceratops at his disposal uh, disposal for only 80 power double burial grounds played by Beastie Cutie this time so it looks like he's not going to go for that Good settlement man, and instead opting to go for a heavy 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 adept play Let's see, uh, settlement now coming down for Mixu over here, it looks like. And Beastie needs to be very careful to get that food transition right. Um, he needs to build that storehouse over here very, very soon. I feel like, oh my god, he's going for a third burial ground, so he's going all out, all in in this game. Triple barracks play, so to say, against the one nest settlement expand build by Mixu. Very nice splitting off by the army of the army by Beastie Cutie over here also using the ancestors ability uh, to possibly get a nice body block on on those Dilophosaurus but eh, didn't work too well but at least he's got a couple more zombies now also getting quite a lot of shots off on that Triceratops over here, so that is nice. That is one of the units that you really want to get rid of as soon as possible because it's tanking so much for those Dilophosaurus. And the supply is now ahead by 10 for Beastie Cutie, and he's also ahead in workers. So maybe that one settlement play is doing wonders over here. Uh, second nest now in production for Mixu. And, um,. Oh, so nice. Beastie Cutie setting up the huge flank over here. Where's the rest of his army? It's over here. So, oh yeah, it's, it's probably not going to work too great. Uh, very nice entangle going down for Beastie Cutie. And now he's chasing those Dilophosaurus. And it's not too many. One of them goes down. Also, another oh, huge chunk exactly. of Beastie Cutie's army over here. The question is, is he gonna have enough food to continuously support that triple barracks production? I don't know, he probably needs to start creeping a couple more dinosaurs as well. And it looks like, oh my god, did he lose all the units at the bottom of the map? That would be really painful when going for a build like that. Uh, also going for blowgunners now though, so the blowgunners finally can do some damage to the Dilophosaurus even when they are continuously walking back which is just so annoying for those adepts because they can do nothing but just run behind them because the speed of them is exactly the same 6.5 to 6.5 um, I can't really tell who's winning that fight to be honest another ancestor's ability going down for beastie cutie and he's pushing strong. He's pushing strong and his supply is ahead. Uh, his worker count is a little bit behind. That means that his army is significantly larger than that of Mixu at the moment. And he's just non-stop rallying those blowgunners to the other side of the map. Will Mixu be able to defend this onslaught? Because I feel like if he can hold 
for just a little bit longer. Then he's gonna be in a great position because of the three settlements that he's gonna have very soon. But it's gonna be tricky, he needs to be very careful. Beast Security now finally finding the settlement of Mixu over here. And he decides, okay, that is not the place where I want to engage. I got the army of... The army of Beast Security is just looking really scary, to be honest. Oh my god, is he gonna make it happen with the one settlement play? The stuff of dreams of give you anxiety. The one settlement all in going strong at the moment and I feel like he's got so many units that he can easily just push in over here and deny a couple of those buildings he can at least take out the treehouse he might even be able to take out the nests and that would be a huge blow to the production of Mixu the first nest is going down to half HP is he gonna uh, is he gonna is he he's big flank coming in though from the back but Beast Security sees it with a couple of reinforcements so he can reposition his army just in time. And slowly but steadily, Mixu is surpassing him, in, uh, surpassing him in supply. It's 87 now to only 74, 72 for Beast Security. Oh boy, oh boy. Does he have the power for another Ancestor's ability? I don't know. Is it gonna be enough? It looks like Beast Security is... He is winning the fight actually. He is winning the fight and all the supplies dead even again. 62 to 62. Will he be able to take down the herd nest though? I think that would be such an important victory for him at the moment. You know, take out the production or at least part of the production of um, the Vithara player. The worker count is 30 for Beastie who keeps making, you know, a couple of workers. Does he even have a settlement? No, he still does not have a settlement. And we're now sitting at six burial grounds. This guy is a madman. How is he supposed to support? I don't even understand how he's doing this. How is he supporting six burial grounds and is able to build a settlement over here of just one base? I don't know. I don't get it. But I like it. And I feel like now is the time where Beastie Cutie should probably start mixing in some adapts again to surprise the mass raptor production of Mixu who decided, okay, 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 let's see, so you're really pushing me hard over here with Blowgunner, so Dilophosaurus, I'm not gonna cut it anymore, um, I need something else now. Um, so I'm gonna make lots of raptors to get us around on you and the bonus damage is gonna take care of the Blowgunners and then all of a sudden there's actually 15 adapts coming into the fray and uh, that would be a very nice play by Beastie Cutie Mixu, posturing over here, seeing if he can make something happen. Uh, the supply is still dead even. With Mixu being significantly ahead in workers at the moment. Oh, he's going for his settlement. I feel like that is a mistake. Uh, lots of units are actually blocked in the back, so yeah, I don't think he can take down the settlement. So yeah, Mixu is ahead in workers by a significant amount, but the supply is still dead even, which means that... Uh, Beastie Cutie's army is just so much more, uh, so much stronger and so much larger than Mixu's that I still would not count Beastie Cutie out in this game at all. His army is just really, really, really strong at the moment. I don't really know where he's going though. Mm. What is his game plan over here? Is he suspecting a settlement over here and just wants to go for it? Oh boy, there's a lot of raptors over here. Taking out a big chunk of the economy of Beastie Cutie. Beastie Cutie, however, on the other side of the map, is just going in. And I feel like he can definitely take down the settlement over here. He just needs to be very, very careful that he is not eating uh, a big tornado. Because that would just kill his army so, so quickly. Uh, Mixu is now contempt in killing a couple of the production facilities of Beastie Cutie sending back the rest of his army to defend but the settlement is already down so very nice win over here for Beastie Cutie um, who is now going to build I live to a settlement serve. as well over there or is it only going to be a storehouse he's going to build a settlement as well over there now so he is now taking and now the uh, adapts coming in as I said very nice taking down a lot of the raptors of Mixu who are now Raptors. So he got the upgrade in tier 2, also getting 
the sharpened tusks upgrade which gives plus one damage to all beast units so uh, Mixu is really planning on going heavy on the Raptors right now and I don't know if that is the right play to be perfectly honest with you BC Cutie actually ahead in supply right now wow his army is so gigantous it's humongous actually how is Mixu planning on actually engaging this he needs like the best entangle and the best tornado ever to be able to do something against this army but then again I feel like BC Cutie also needs to be a little bit more aggressive with this army um, the longer he waits, the worse I feel like it's gonna get for him. Look at those Fearer Raptors go! Taking out, out the Adept. Oh, big Entangle going down over here as well as a Tornado and now Beastie Cutie. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna... He's actually gonna stand and fight. He's plopping down the power on his units that gives them uh, a lifesteal. And he's just standing and fighting and I feel like he can. I really feel like he can. His army is just so incredibly strong and powerful at the moment. The powers of Mixu are on cooldown so he cannot use another Entangle and another Tornado for another couple of seconds. So if I was Beast Cutie, I would just fight. Okay, the cooldown is actually gone already again. Beast Cutie is not looking. He's losing so many units to the Tornado. Oh boy, oh boy, man, that was painful. Beast Cutie was in such a good position, but ultimately... He was not looking for just a couple of seconds and losing so many of his so valuable units at this stage of the game to an Entangle and a Tornado combination. He's still macroing though, he's still making stuff. Uh, he's still got a lot of resources in the bank, so he could potentially just, you know, get up in supply very fast again but he decides that he actually wants to transition so he starts making burial grounds now as well as a going smithery couple of fear raptors coming down from the bottom looking if they can find something that they can kill and they indeed find one lonely blow gunner i don't know what that guy was doing over there but probably just you know scouting the map or something also, oh my god, 12 workers of here, Beastie, not looking, okay, finally he looks, still very, very nice reaction time by him. So many zombies as well, he took the zombie town, uh, it's very, very popular amongst Necromos players at the moment, is the Master of Death talent that increases the max amount of zombies to 18, because it's just really, really helpful to, to create a, a cheap, a completely free and supply-less tank line for your main military but ultimately oh my god I feel like I feel like Beastie Cutie is just playing so well but still he's not in a very good position um, and it's unfortunate because he just made one little mistake I feel like and that did cost him oh so much pushing in on a couple of gardens right now that's a nice little pickup another entangle and tornado combination going down and it looks like these guys just decided okay screw it we're just gonna fight at least beastie has had enough of this posturing on the map and he's like i'm gonna go for it right now and he's taking out so much of the economy of mixu over here but he needs to be careful don't get greedy now you did so much damage but i feel like it's now time to go back the wisps are actually fighting and getting picked off as well mixu is down to 40 workers and beast cutie also to 43 it looks like i missed a little harassment in the main base of beast cutie these guys are just going ham at each other supply is uh, fairly close but still oh my god just another combination of those two deadly powers going in the zombies is st standing strong the workers of beast cutie now coming off the line but it's just so many so many raptors a couple of adepts coming in to help in the fight full surround on the low gunners of beastie cutie uh, there's more army of beastie cutie over here but uh, it looks like mixu is having the better end of that trade and beastie cutie is indeed tapping out that was a great game and once again it could have gone either way so hopefully beastie cutie uh is not too 
disappointed about this and just keeps going strong in the tournament and giving it his all because I feel like he has still a very good shot at winning the tournament. He played an amazing series today and you cannot forget that he was playing against a ranked one player on the war party ladder. So he was playing against, I'm not going to say the best because I mean it's, it's so close between all these players but definitely one of the absolute best players of the game right now so it's definitely no shame to lose.